the use of aggregate functions means uh, so many are there. The average count, count A, maximum, minimum, product, standard deviation, okay, then variance, sum, median, so many options are there. So here uh, we will uh, learn up to 11th tool, that is variance, okay, from average to variance. I'll take the same uh, set of data only. OK, see here, which is the first option we have. I just I will copy all these uh, options here. So we will perform one by one, OK? We will perform one by one uh, tool here. So which is the first option, average. Means average of uh, the given numbers, OK? If you want to have the average of uh, IMRs, OK, which is scored by you all. We can go to a particular cell type is equal to OK. AB if you type uh, in the drop down list, uh, you will get the average option. Double click on average option. OK, now it will ask for the numbers. You, whatever whatever the numbers you want to take the average, you select all the numbers. I'll select from row number one to last row number. Problem 63. Now type enter. The average number will be generated. Average mark score will be created here. Okay. Now you are getting 35.85. Okay. You can you, if you want to round it up to the next number or the previous number. Here we have the option. Here. Decrease decimal. Increase decimal. Okay. You want to round off to the next number. This is the 35.85 is there, no? You want to round it up to a round number, means a full number. We can select this cell here. You click on decrease decimal. You can see the decimal is getting decreased one by one. Correct? 35.86, 35.9, 36. Okay. If you want to increase the decimal, Click on increase decimal. Okay. Then uh, you, you understood how to make the average. Next, what next? Count means number of cells it will count. Okay. Type is equal to count. Double click. Select all the numbers. It will count. This number of cells it will count. Number of cells it will count. There is one more option called count A. Okay. Count A is helpful when uh, see here some I will add some text here. Okay. I'll add some text here A B C. Okay. Now here if I apply count option, no count the number of cells. Now I'll select. Uh, the numbers including the text which I have written here. If I press enter, how, how many numbers it is showing? 63, which is the actual numbers I have selected. 64 I have selected, including this text I have selected. But it is showing 63. So count option is used to just to count the numbers. Okay, the cell which the which contains the numbers, no, that, that cell only it will count. Okay, if you want to count the cell with text also, you will utilize this count A option. Okay, now is equal to count count A. I'll select double click on that. Now select from row number one to last number, including the text. Type is equal to now it is including the text, it will count the number of cells. Okay. That is the difference between count and count A. Then what next? Maximum. Okay. You have uh, so much of data. In that, uh, 
you want to pick the maximum number you want to know which is the maximum number which is the highest code marks okay we just type uh, is equal to max double click select all the numbers it will give the maximum number out of all the numbers you can see the 50 is the maximum uh, score marks or highest score marks similarly the minimum is equal to minimum double click on minimum Select all the numbers. Select all the numbers. You will get the minimum score marks. Okay, which is the minimum score marks? Zero. Here, J Kamal is absent. Okay, that's why you got zero. So it is showing minimum number as zero. Okay. Then coming to the next option, product. Product means multiplication of two numbers. Is equal to product. Product. You select the numbers you want to multiply. It will multiply and give the answer. Okay, you can use other, another method. Type is equal to click on this number. Type into click on another number. It will give the answer. Okay, we can use product uh, option or it manually can enter. Okay. <laughs> So the next tool is standard deviation. What is the meaning of standard deviation? Standard deviation you heard. It is deviation from the mean value of the data. Standard deviation is deviation from the mean value. OK, so we have the formula for calculating the standard deviation. Here I have. Uh, a standard deviation. This is the formula used for calculating the Standard deviation x minus x bar whole square divided by n minus 1, where x is the number, x bar is the average of all the data, n is number of data. Okay, number of data. Okay, using this formula, the standard deviation is calculated. Again, in standard deviation, there are two types one is sample standard deviation, another one is population standard deviation. Both are almost same, only there is some uh, variation in the formula in the denominator you have n minus one. Now here you will have only n in the population standard deviation. Okay, that is the difference. Almost you will get the same value. Almost you will get the same value. So here we will operate that uh, tool standard deviation, sample standard deviation, and the population standard deviation. You type is equal to you type uh, STD. You select the standard deviation, sample standard deviation. You select double click, click on the data, select all the data which you require to find the standard deviation. It will get calculated. Okay. Similarly, STD type is equal to STD P means population standard deviation. I'll select the same set of data. Type enter. Almost you will get the same number. Okay, in the denominator, n is there in one formula. In, in another formula, we have n minus one. Means in one particular formula, it will take a 63. In another formula, it will take 62. There won't be any much difference. Then conventional sum. Already I have explained about the summation. Type is equal to sum. Double click. Select all the data. The sum of all the values will be generated. OK. Then the variance. Coming to the variance, standard deviation and variance are both are same only. We will use uh, this uh, variance whenever the data, number of data is small. OK, if you look into the formula. For the variance, see here for standard deviation, we have the root. But for variance, we don't have the root. Okay. If the data is small, we'll calculate the variance. If the data is large, we'll take the root of it and uh, uh, we'll analyze the data. Okay. Both are almost same only. Standard deviation and the variance. Okay. To reduce the uh, quantity or the to reduce the uh, number, we'll just take the root in standard deviation. In variance, we'll not take the root. So we can calculate the variance here. 
variants again population variants and uh, we will calculate first variance dot s yes. same procedure okay similarly population variance is equal to select all the numbers you will get the answer directly. Okay, this is how we will uh, use all the 